Hey friend, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about my three hacks to help you get out of a creative rut. So whether you are feeling unmotivated or you're lacking in inspiration, I have been there many, many times in my career as an artist and just in general as an artist, whether it's a hobby or a career, doesn't matter. We all face these times where we're just like, I don't feel like painting anything, or I don't know what to paint, or just bummed with everything that you end up painting, or when you sit down, it's just not ever working out. It's frustrating. I've been there many times. So I'm gonna give you three hacks that have helped me get out of creative ruts, or a season of burnout, or you know, seasons of lacking inspiration and motivation. So let's talk about it. All right, so tip number one is to always focus on the play. So many of us, when we sit down to paint, we get this brain chatter going that says, no, you can't do that, or that's not gonna look good. Or we take ourselves way too seriously. We take our practice way too seriously. We take our approach to painting or whatever create, creative medium you're doing, self-expression you're doing, whether it's music, poetry, you know, painting, whatever. Um, it is. A lot of us take ourselves too seriously. We take our practice and our end result way too seriously. And the play is actually where you develop that muscle memory and it's actually where you develop your own style. So if you're wanting to develop your own style as an artist, as a musician, you need to focus on the play versus the outcome or versus, you know, what is actually developing here. So if you are, you know, feeling unmotivated or uninspired, or you feel like you're in a creative rut, just bust out the paints and paint something you would never think you would ever create ever in your life. Um, and just play with it. Just play around. Don't have like a map in front of you. Don't have, it needs to look like this at the end of this session, this painting sh session, just play. Just give yourself some time to play and self-express, turn on some good tunes. I have a really great, playlist on Spotify for getting creative and getting into that flow state when you're playing. So we'll link to it. Make sure you check it out. It's perfect uh, for the playing because it's just like nice background tunes. Anyway, so first tip for our first hack for getting out of a creative rut is to focus on the play. When we are self-expressing, we need to find a way to align with this creative flow and to come alive and doing, and when you think about a kid in a sandbox, they're invested in that sandbox. That's their entire world when they're, you know, putting sand in their little dump trucks and they're shoveling and making these sand castles. That is their world. They're consumed by it. So it's the same approach to painting, the same approach to singing and writing songs or writing poetry. You need to be so consumed with that play time that everything else turns off. And that is what's really going to invigorate you and get you out of the creative rut. And then my second tip might sound a little boring or straightforward, but I can't express to you how valuable this one is. All of them are very valuable, but don't underestimate the power of going for a walk outside. Even if it's just for 10 to 15 minutes, bring your headphones, don't listen to a podcast, don't listen to an audiobook. Put on some mellow music, whether it's classical music or my playlist called Painting on Spotify. Something that allows your brain to just kind of shut off and get into this hypnotic meditative state. You know when you're driving and you're on the freeway and you're, you're driving, you're staying in your lane, you're doing what you should be doing behind a vehicle. Uh, but you look up and you're like, oh my gosh, I've passed like five exits and I don't even remember what I just did. You're just kind of like a robot. You just mechanically keep driving, but your brain is completely shut off and you're not even there. You're daydreaming. Um, that walk outside where you're able to shut off your brain like that is going to be the best for invigorating that creative spark. So do that. Do yourself a favor. Do that daily. Instill those habits daily for you going outside. Maybe it's in the morning or it's at lunchtime. For a little break, I can't even explain to you how invigorating it is to just go for a walk outside, let your brain turn off and hop into that daydream. <laughs> it's gonna really affect your painting or whatever creative practice it is. And then my third tip is to invest in learning, whether that's investing your time or your finances, invest in learning. So you here, you're on my YouTube channel, you're investing your time in learning and in growing. You're not investing money because these are free tutorials, you're welcome. Um, but <laughs> whatever it is that you're feeling stuck in or maybe you wanna learn something new, 
I can't even tell you how valuable learning something new is. I've been learning more about creative writing recently. I've, I invested in this creative writing course and it's helped me, it's helped influence my creative spark when I'm painting. Or maybe you wanna learn ceramics or you wanna learn how to sew, whatever it is, something that is so different than what you practice on the daily or what your go-to medium is, it can really help kind of make this well-rounded creative being. And we're all creative beings, we all have that, uh, creativity born into us um, when we are born. So it just kind of gets dimmed and dulled over time. So make sure you're always investing either your time or your money in learning. I have some great courses. If you want to invest in learning and growing your creative business, make sure you go check out those courses. But if you're just wanting to invest your time in, in learning watercolor or a specific medium like painting or writing or whatever, Obviously my YouTube channel has a lot of watercolor and a lot of illustration, but there's tons of tutorials on many different creative mediums out there on YouTube. So check it out. Um, never underestimate the importance of investing in your learning. Don't just stick to, I'm just gonna stick to what I know and never grow. Invest in some people who've gone before you in other outside mediums than what you're used to painting with or you know, maybe you love painting landscapes and you never paint flowers, then you're going to love my channel. Um, anyway, so those are my three hacks for getting yourself out of a creative rut. One was to focus on play. Two was to go outside, listen to some pretty tunes, no podcast. And three was to invest in learning. I hope that was helpful for you guys. It really does take practice and discipline to implement these three hacks or three strategies into your daily life so that you can stay out of that burnout or stay out of that creative rut. So you can always stay inspired and enjoy your practice, enjoy your time of play. So pick up those brushes, get to play in, and I'll see you in one of my tutorials because that's the perfect thing to do right after this video is to go learn and play with your brushes. <laughs> So step number one is the ideation phase. I want you to literally do a massive brain dump on your paper <laughs> of who you are, what you do, and who your ideal customer avatar is.